Hello and welcome. This is Albert Chapman, a senior pastor here at New Beginnings Church of God of Prophecy in Atlanta, Maryland. We want to thank you for tuning in to listen to our show today. Today we have something special just for you. So grab your pen, your paper, and grab your Bible, and let's see what the Lord has for you.
Ladies, you've done, you're doing a great job. You've done a great job. And I, in, in, in Christ, I just say keep, keep moving forward in Christ. Amen. Amen. And this is on the behalf of the women's ministry to say I love you and I thank you and happy Mother's Day to you. You don't stand. 
day and night. We must get our mind and our thoughts fixed on God's word and apply it to our lives. Hebrews 4 and 12, Hebrews 4 and 12, if you're writing this down, says, for the word of God is alive and active. Come on. So that lets me know that if his word abides in me, and I'm abiding in him, then I shall be alive and I shall be active. In other words, I shall be a vibrant Christian. Part of pastor's mission for the church is that we be a vibrant church, that we be a relevant church. And the one way that we become relevant and vibrant is that we get God's word Amen. Amen. 
something. Amen. I need you to stay rooted. When trouble comes, I don't need you to be easily uprooted. But I need you to stay rooted. Galatians 6 and 9 says, And let us not be weary and well doing. For at what? Do season. Do season. You will reap if you faint not. That lets me know that if I hold on to God, amen, if I allow his word to stay rooted in me, and I'm rooted in him, that amen, that even in my well-doing, it actually may not look like it's prospering, but he said, well, in due season, if you faint not, you shall reap the reward. I don't know about you, but I like to receive rewards.
Because he says in the second part of this verse, pursue peace with all people and holiness, without which no one will see the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I want to see the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't want to run this way, say yes. man, and be told that uh, depart from me. I don't know about you, and I don't want him to tell me, depart from me, you evil doers. Hallelujah. I want to see him, and I want to abide and stay with him. Amen. Amen. When I'm rooted and grounded in him, I have good health. Check this out. Even when the doctors tell me I don't. Amen. 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 Whose report are you going to believe? Amen. 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 I'm going to have good health despite what the doctors tell me. Amen. I'm going to see my way through despite what my situation looks like. Why? Because I am staying rooted in the Word. There's something to being rooted. See, when you're not rooted, you, 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 you sway. When, when things don't go your way, we don't see you. We don't see you. Because you're not rooted. Come on, Help us, Lord. And then you have some, things go their way, that's when they want to show up. But he said, we have to show up regardless. When you're rooted in Christ, you're going to show up when you had a good week, and you're going to show up when you had a bad week. Amen? You're going to show up when your morning was good, and you're going to show up when your morning wasn't so good. You're going to show up when you get in the car and you tear your stockings, you gonna show up on your heel break. You gonna show up when that you got a stain on your dress. You gonna show up. Why? Because you are rooted. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He said, "When we're rooted, we're able to be a blessing to others. Our finances get on track when we're rooted." We're able to give. Amen. Not just our tithes, but we can give tithes, offerings, plus a little bit more. Amen. 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 So when we're rooted in Christ, even our finances get on track. They're on track. So you have in front of you. Amen. And this, the message went out to everybody. But now we're going to get into something, a little word for the women. So you can pull out your paper. Amen. We're going to look at a few women, just a few mothers in the Bible. Amen. Amen. Because we have so, so many examples to look up to in the Bible for mothers, for women, for women. So the first one you have to, so I'll tell you when you can fill in the blank. The first one is Eve. Now listen to this. Eve was the original mother of the two well-known sons, Cain and Abel. She had, now, the, situ the situation with Eve is I said, okay, we, we can cut Eve some slack because she didn't have a mother to pattern after. She had the wing. She just showed up and then had kids, and she had to learn how to be a mother. She had no one to give her advice on how to be a good mother or a wife. She had to figure things out, like this child and his head is hot. What does that mean? That means he had a temperature. Why is this baby crying? Oh, because his teeth are coming. She had no one to teach her, how do I get these kids to stop wetting their, wetting their clothes? She had to teach them how to potty train. Amen. So she had no one to teach her. So she had to win. But let her, so we know that she, she did something that kind of hurt us women when it comes to childbearing. Amen. So she was the first mother, check this out, who was who first 
uh, was in, involved in the first murder case. Can you imagine the first mother to be involved in a murder case? And she was the first mother who had to bury her child. Thank you for tuning in to our service here at New Beginnings Church of God of Prophecy. I am co-pastor LaShawn Chapman, and I'm sure you enjoyed that powerful word. Please contact us with the information that you see on your screen. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. God bless.